You want to check for a barrel breakout. Okay, we do not have a barrel breakout. So, Pro Charger, when they send these kits out, they are designed to run a stock MAP sensor, like manifold air pressure sensor, and they will actually run MAF only in the tuning, and it works. Is it correct? No. It does work though, but it is not correct. What it's gonna cause is, obviously you want your ECU to comprehend boost. So we wanna have our, our two and a half bar, three bar, whatever y'all wanna consider, it's extra two and a half bar uh, map sensor. We also, this mass airflow sensor has the barrel pressure sensor in it. So what happens is, is when you have any type of, of, of force induction application that blows through the math and pressurizes the charge tube, um, it will skew the P ratio. So in the other day, in the video that, from the other day, um, remember P ratio is map over barrow. So what happens is when you pressurize this pipe with boost, and then you were you would max out the stock map sensor. So you'd basically max out stock barrow sensor, stock map sensor. The truck would see a P ratio of one. So the V table would be incorrect. The trans wouldn't shift correct. It's just. It is a very basic way of doing it, and I know they get away with it, but in this application, it is incorrect. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the DSX uh, barrel breakout. So what's gonna happen is um, the DSX wiring harness is gonna intercept this wiring harness to the mass airflow sensor. It's going to add an external map sensor, like manifold air pressure sensor, and that's just gonna sit to atmosphere. So then this charge pipe can be pressurized. The engine still sees atmospheric pressure outside, um, via the, the barrel pressure sensor. So all the ECU's calculations are gonna be correct on fueling. So before we get this thing up on the dyno, I will do, uh, we'll install the barrel breakout and I'll kind of show you what the kit looks like. I use DSX, there may be other companies that offer it, but DSX was the one that, that originally brought it out and I just wanna support Dave Steck, he's a good dude. All right guys, so here's the DSX barrel breakout kit. So what this does, is you have the female end for the mass airflow sensor here. You have the male end for the mass airflow sensor here. And this is the map sensor for, that's now gonna be a barrel pressure sensor. So this shop always orders them. I have them order them with this um, Blue Label LS9 map sensor because traditionally when these trucks come in, the stock map sensor is still installed. So what I would do is I would take out the stock map sensor. I would put this over there and put the stock map sensor here. But this truck already obviously has the red label. So basically it is what it is. So he's gonna have a two and a half bar barrel sensor. So if he decides he wants to drive to Jupiter, his P ratio is gonna be correct. All right, so how these little clips work, you can literally just take your fingernails, slide this red clip back, disconnect the mass airflow sensor. So again, we have the female side. We're just gonna plug this in and he can tidy up this install whenever he gets the truck back. I'm just gonna make it run for the dyno. So for right now, I'm just gonna loop it around the Mighty Mouse catch can hoses, which I don't know if you guys saw that, but it does have Mighty Mouse catch can on here. And that's, that's literally as simple as that. So he can set this up however he wants. If he wants to bolt the sensor down somewhere he can, if he wants to, buy GM sensor and keep this for another build he can. Um, we can tune the ECU for this, it's not a problem at all. Only reason why I didn't go ahead on and call GM and get a stock sensor is because they want, apparently they want $65 for a stock sensor and these things are like $45. So we're actually saving money and got a cooler sensor. So anyways, that's the install on the barrel breakout. Let's jump in the truck, pull the reed file out and get the um, everything scaled correctly. First thing we need to do is calibrate for the map sensor. Um, so you're gonna go under engine, airflow, general, and it's under this characteristics table right here. Um, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna pull up, just to show you guys, I'll pull up a, um, just pull up a 2014 Cadillac CTSV. All right, so we're gonna hit the compare button and I'm just gonna hit zero, tab, zero, tab, um, and that handles that. All right, so now we, this is correct for the um, master manifold air pressure sensor. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna change our map estimation. Um, this thing's not gonna make a ton of boost. We'll just make it 180 kPa. Um, we're gonna go to our sensor config and make it NA and map, and that's gonna correct it for the barrel breakout. 
Um, and then if you if you see this uh, 31250, because we use the blue label map for the barrel pressure, um, we're going to make this air uh, ambient air pressure. I'm gonna just I'm gonna make all three because, like I said, I'm always uniform and GM is uniform in all these, so I'm gonna be uniform too. Um, so now we have all this stuff set up for the barrel breakout with the blue label map sensor. If you are gonna use your stock map sensor in that location, all of these can be left alone. So don't make that change. All right, files in. Let's start the truck. Um, so we're going to double check, see our barrel pressure sensor is correct at 99 kPa. And um, our manifold air pressure is good at 65, 66. So all that is looking okay. 